fellow gardeners, Dawn here from Seasonal Designs. Remember all those beautiful containers we put together about a month ago? Well, I thought it was time for a check-in. The next couple of containers I'm gonna show you, five, actually are ones that I have along the entryway to our home. So I've really tried to coordinate the colors in all five of those containers. Superbina Peachy Keen. The Super Bina Imperial Blue. I have a Salmon Geranium. I have this Petunia that is um, Bitter Lemon. And then I also have an Osteospermum here, and this one is not blooming, but I do have it in a couple other of containers. Now, in the center of the two containers here, that flank the walkway, I have a grass, and that is purple fountain grass. And then I have repeated those same things in this container. And you can see here, the osteospermum is blooming here. And I thought it looked so pretty with the little purple it has in there to try to pull that out with that pretty imperial blue superbina. I've got some lobelia there on the side. And then this is the same, exact same. And then I also have a window box. It's going to have very similar things in it with the bitter lemon petunia, peachy keen verbena. There is a salmon colored geranium in there. You can't really see it right now because it is not blooming. And then a creeping Jenny. And then the last two of that kind of series I have right up front here. And I thought the colors looked really nice. And these are two of my favorite containers. They're just a clay, a painted clay but I've always loved the, um, the colors in these. I just think they're so pretty. See, I added an ageratum in this one. The osteospermum is here. Let's check in on the two big urns from Unique Stone. They are the Savannah urns, and they flank kind of the entryway to the greenhouse, and they are really filling in nice. Remember, I did put an orb on top of that. The only thing I'm somewhat disappointed in is the caladium because it really is, doesn't look to be doing very well. But we have had some unusual weather here. First, it was... It got like super hot really fast and then it got super cold and I just don't think that this caladium likes the cold overnight temperatures so I'm not ready to deep six it yet. Still looking really nice with the lobularia. I think that's white knights, calabricoa. There is an ivy geranium in here, right here, lemon coral sedum. The petunia is a bitter lemon. And then I also have this green apple verbena right here. And then of course, looks like this guy isn't blooming right now, but this was um, strawberry surprise, I believe, in the geranium. But really overall, I think they look really, really nice. with the bird bath planters really filling in so nice with the purples shades of purples and whites and if you remember in this pot we have the salvia right there in the middle i believe that is velocity blue 
And then we have an ageratum right there. Um, that is, I think, violet. And we have the Creeping Jenny down the center. We have Storm Ver Burst Verbena. And we have another Verbena. Um, this one is called Imperial Blue. We have a Crazy Tunia Black and White. We have the Diamond Frost Euphorbia. And it just makes such a pretty, pretty mix filling in so, so well. And checking in on the two containers here that flank the back patio, starting to really fill in nicely. That center Gora just looking pretty and airy. We have Super, Super Tunia Vista Raspberry as well as Scarlet over here on this side. Then we have that same uh, Super Bina that I have in the rest of them, Imperial Blue. I have an Isotoma right here, that's Beth's Blue. I also have the um, Diamond Snow Euphorbia in this one. And then I have this little Darla Rose Diagea, I believe it is, that little pink flower in here. So really filling in the Creeping Jenny down the center. This one, which gets a little bit less sun, still looking good and filling in. Really nice. Well, that's going to be it for today's video, short but sweet. I hope I gave you some ideas for your summer containers. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.